Welcome to this hands-on exercise. In this walkthrough, we'll process text data on Amazon SageMaker and generate TFIDF features using a custom Python script. TFIDF, short for term frequency, inverse document frequency, is a popular text processing technique used to measure how important each word is within a document relative to the entire dataset. It's widely used in search engines, information retrieval, machine learning models, and NLP tasks such as text classification and sentiment analysis. Before we begin, make sure your AWS environment is properly configured using the AWS configure command. We'll start by adding the data file required for this exercise. This file contains customer reviews, and we'll use it to generate TFIDF features. Next, we create a Python script that SageMaker will execute to process the input file. We begin by importing Boto3, the AWS SDK for Python. This script uploads our dataset, customer underscore reviews. We then dynamically generate a Python script called text underscore processing dot py. This is the script that will run inside the SageMaker processing container. Inside the script, we import pandas and tfid vectorizer from scikit-learn to handle the data and extract text features. We also install the NLTK library at runtime, download the tokenizer resources, and use word underscore tokenize to split customer reviews into tokens. Once everything is ready, we load the CSV file from SageMaker's input directory. We apply TFIDF vectorization using both unigrams and bigrams, then convert the resulting feature matrix into a data frame and save it to the output directory. After generating the script, we write it to disk so SageMaker can use it. Next, we import the SageMaker SDK to configure and run the processing job. We specify the IAM role that gives the job access to SageMaker and the S3 bucket. We select Amazon's pre-built scikit-learn container and run the job on a medium-sized instance. When we launch the job, SageMaker automatically pulls the input file from S3, runs TFIDF feature extraction, and saves the results back to S3 when processing completes. Once you see the completion message, your TFIDF features are ready. Now, let's look at the IAM role used in this job. As shown here, we've configured the necessary S3 permissions for the role. Next, we review the S3 bucket used in this exercise. This is the bucket we use for both input and output operations. Before running our program, we delete any existing content to ensure the bucket is clean. Once the setup is complete, we return to the IDE and review the program one more time before executing it. Let's run the script. We notice an error, a typo in the data file name. Let's fix that.
and run it again. This time, the job runs successfully. Now we check the output inside S3. Here is the input file uploaded by our script. And here is the TFIDF feature output generated from the customer reviews. This concludes the exercise. Remember to clean up and delete any resources you created during the walkthrough.